Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you the team I'm going to use for this class trial in Archer. You can fight the champions here in any order you like. You don't have to do the first one first, but first thing I would do is always grab tier one from the shop. This gives you a potion of enchantment, amongst other things. All your troops start enchanted for the entirety of this event, and you get extra souls, extra gold, more sigils, more troops, and more besides. Very handy indeed, and of course that lovely extra XP, which makes it all that much quicker getting this to level 100. At tier five, there is the Class Mythic Weapon, but it's nothing fantastic. It's the Dragon Oak. Remove all gems of one of the enemy's mana colors. Deal magic-based damage to that enemy, boosted by gems removed. Not that great, so I wouldn't spend gems specifically just to pick it up. You're going to get that weapon anyway once you achieve 250 class wins in Archer. But yeah, just go as far as you need to in this. Or can do, in fact. Right onto the team itself. I've skipped out some of the early battles because they're super crazy easy. And there's hardly any choice here at all. We're limited to elven troops from Forest of Thorns and there's literally nine to pick from, but hardly any do decent damage. A logical way to go with this is to go with a two times King Avalon. That starts battles with 50% mana for all elves. Does damage to all enemies boosted by elves, elementals and beasts and has a summon at the same time. So I'd grab two of them if you can. If you don't have two of them, then one of Lady and Ariel wouldn't be too bad. Creating eight blue and eight green is going to help charge King Avalon up as well as feed the blue into herself as well. Failing that, Lord Balinor, not too shabby, deals damage to an enemy and the enemy below. Boosted by Forest of Thorns allies, that's kind of pretty decent as well. And uh, Thorn Knight, remove all red gems, we're not using red in this team. Deal damage to the first enemy boosted by gems removed and entangle them. So pretty handy that entangle as well because we'll start with the top troop entangled but once they're gone then we're not going to be entangling the next one. So if you're a newer player not wiping out these enemies in one go this is a pretty decent troop to have to make sure that top troop stays entangled. Right, so um, Daughter of Yasmin is also here, converting red to green. Don't use red. Converting him to green to feed in King Avalon and herself. Conjures a Leaf Storm, which is green. And also starts battles with full mana, so we can do that from the absolute get-go. Regarding the weapon, gone for black manacles here just for a extra bunch of damage to all. But if you type in damage to all into the search bar, you will find any other weapons which you have which do damage to all, so if you don't have black manacles, just go to the search bar, type in damage to all, and have a search for that. And you'll find a load of other weapons. Some good ones here, like surprisingly effective for a lower level, like Wicked Scythe. Damage to all enemies, magic plus one. Basic weapon, a lot of people are going to have that. Uh, failing that, another really good weapon to have, if you don't have that one, is Amethyst Band. Explodes magic plus one green gems, grants a random status effect to all elven allies, then summons an elf troop. So three lots of summon in this team and lots of mana gem. And um, yeah, very good indeed. But we'll roll with this team and just show how it works. Very straightforward. Oh, didn't show the banner. I'll show that now. The banner was plus two green, a plus one brown, minus one red, but... Because we don't use red, it's the only color we don't use. Just type in minus one red into the banner and you'll, you'll see that. Oh, I'll show that in a second. Now, you can obviously, obviously look for the red to green for Daughter of Yasmin absolutely immediately. But if it's not there, then no great shakes. We'll just charge up our other troops. Always cast Black Manacles first if you can. Because if you're lucky enough to get that Devour like I did, then you're going to get an increase in life, armor and attack. Let me cast that other troop afterwards. And wallop them out of there. Oh, it didn't show the champion talents on Archer. I'll just show that in a second. Like I say, have a quick cast around, look around for a red to green. Better if it's four match. Like, um, we've got it now. Always good to get the troops up and ready. Can take a skull back if you want to. No reason why not. Oh, he thinks he's taking away some of our mana. We'll whack him around yet anyway. 
Medals are nicer for this. They're going to boost up the damage of your team if you have them. So stick them on there. No need for Medals of Arnu or anything like that. Let me just show this um, class quickly. Arch class I chose for this. 15% uh, chance for skull damage to be lethal, regardless of what power the enemy has. Hunt. Don't think that one was... Eh, was it? I don't know. No, no, it's Jewelry, isn't it? Man Manacles. So yeah, that was irrelevant, that one. But Root Trap, always good to start battles with. Same as Nature's Aura. Uh, that one would be better, actually. Dodge. And that one doesn't really matter. And like I say, the banner was a um, mushroom banner from a Manithrax for this one. Plus two green, plus one brown, minus one red. But just type in minus red and pick any banner you like that makes sense. Like slime banner would have been absolutely fine at the same time. So all good, whatever you prefer. Let's continue. Let's do a few more battles. Grumpy Queen Isabel is up next. You get this straight away, like the red to green, always worth casting. Gets your Avalons up really fast. Depending upon your power then, you can just cast them back to back and take care of the enemy. If they don't die then, your Manacles will be up in no time and you can do it instead. Right, so let's uh, grab some of that. Let's grab that first. Always better to grab some green if you can first, if you're not going to wipe out the enemy in one go. Getting that boost look. Boost is 15 because it's boosted by Elf, Elemental and Beast Allies. And everybody's dead, Dave. Right, one more quick set and we'll call the video a day. Video. Your day. I said by Batman, maybe. Maybe. Let's see if we get this cheeky devourer. Not today. All right. Are you getting excited with the extra turns? Oof. That Drake Rider summon thing, so annoying. Should we get that up first? Nah, let's just do this. See if anything happens afterwards. Uh, what we got? What we got? Oh, I'll just do that. Sometimes you're just better off just... Oh, I don't know how long that was sitting there for. Could have done that lot. We're in the forest of thorns and we can't see the wood for the trees. What do you know? Like I say, if you don't have two of these uh, King Avalons, I do like the sound of that other dude, Thorn Knight, whatever his name was, that done the entangle on the, on the top troop. That is actually quite useful. Right, quick look around for a red. It's not, time, not, not a four match, but we can still cast it anyway. Still going to get enough mana to get it going. I've given the bird a chance to run off, but it's not happening. We got the dicky bird, got everybody else. So I don't normally recommend casting the Empowered Troops unless you're going to get a four match. Quite often you're going to set the enemy up to get a load of mana back. Always cast Black Manacles first when you've got this charged up at the same time as your King Avalon. Just in case you get that lovely Devourer. Queen Isabel, I've taken the jam out of her donut and she's not happy. Love the daughter of Yasmin. Absolutely superb. Now just do this one last battle now. Emperor Liang, you're up, mate. You can chuck your scrolly thing at me as much as you want, but it doesn't matter. You're gonna be kabooshed out of there, and you know it. Have you got enough power to finish him off in one go? I don't know. I haven't bothered to work it out. Yes, we have. See ya. Well, there's a video. That is a very straightforward, easy team to use for this class trial in Archer class. Really good class. Try and get it to level 100. Absolutely love it. 
There it is, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, be greatly appreciated. But most of all, a thanks for watching. Catch you again next time. Bye for now.